this 74-year-old gentleman has just cashed his pension check. Now he's trapped in a confined space with two dickheads who are about to make a withdrawal from the wrong dude! How can a guy win a fist fight in an elevator? You fight dirty, kick him in the nuts, and then use your fists. Break the lights and sucker punch him. Like this. Warning, these fight moves are performed by highly trained professionals. Attempting them could result in bodily injury. Do not try this! These punks think this guy is just a wrinkled old sack of easy money. But really, he's the last living student of Kung Fu legend Bruce Lee! Ah! Meet Kung Fu master Jerry Poti. What Bruce Lee taught him was Wing Chung, a mysterious Chinese martial art dating back to the 17th century. It is the secret weapon in close range combat. Fighting in an elevator, Jerry demonstrates the five secret moves in his karate studio. My goal in the first strike is to disable my opponent. I control that hand and then strike to the throat. A strike to the throat will hit the jugular vein which can cut off blood flow to the brain. The next step is to grab my opponent and pull him into the knee attack. A blow to the balls will cause a guy's hairy pair to run scared. But here comes another punch. I intercept his movement with a back fist. Bang! A back fist redirects blood flow to the abdomen and could lead to lights out for this lunkhead. But there's more. I flood the area with what we call firepower. Chung Choi is the Chinese name for it. Rapid fire jabs to the solar plexus forces his diaphragm into spasms, causing temporary paralysis. But there's one more ancient secret move that guarantees to knock out a couple of knuckleheads in close combat. The elbow strike. It's called the UG elbow, a blow to the back of the head that shuts down the brainstem. It's dead, which is why it's known by some as the Atomic Pimp Slap! Damn. Everybody Wing Chun tonight! One more time! How can a guy win a fist fight in an elevator? Keep the change, chumps. You just got served by a master.